Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to free up space on your hard drive. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is see how much space you have left and know how much you need. So the easiest way to do that is to go to your start button on Windows 7 and go to computer. And here you can see your hard drive. You might have a couple other things than this. It might have one that's local disk, one that's backups, and a bunch of things. The one you want to worry about is your main one, the one with the, the highest amount of gigabytes here. Uh, so as you can see, I have a lot left. I don't really have a problem with this because I have a really big hard drive. But yours might be, it might be a red bar here. You can see it's kind of dangerously high. Uh, so the first easiest couple things to do is if you right click on your main hard drive here and you click on properties, you're going to get this local disk properties here. The easiest way to save some space right off the bat is click disk cleanup and just let it do, it, let it do its thing here. So this might take a couple minutes for you. We'll see, it went really quick for me. And then you see all these different options that you can clean up and it'll save you space. So this will say 5.25 gigabytes. If you've never done this before, it'll probably be more for you. You can see all these things here. It's gonna do things like empty the recycle bin and just delete a whole bunch of old versions of files, things you don't need necessarily, temporary files. Uh, so you can just click clean up right here. It'll be really nice, really quick save a bit of space. Okay, now the next easiest thing to do that doesn't require installing any programs is to go to the tools uh, tab here and go to under defragmentation, you see this funky little diagram, click on defragment now and then you'll just want to click defragment disk here. Okay, there's a couple more fine tweaks we can do without actually removing any files uh, or installing any programs yet. So what you can do is on your recycle bin here, uh, if you don't have the recycle bin on your desktop, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your control panel. Here, I'll maximize this. And under appearance and personalization, and under personalization, you can see change desktop icons right here. So if you click on that, you have all your options, just little check boxes of what to keep on the desktop. So I'll show you how that kind of works. Right now I have the recycle bin. If I want to have my computer on there, I can put that, it just appears, I can get rid of it. It just disappears. So make sure you have recycle bin checked for this. And then on your recycle bin, if you right click, uh, well first you can empty your recycle bin. It should be empty though if you, if you ran the cleaner earlier. And then you're going to want to go to properties. And then here you have custom size, uh, or maximum size. So what this is, is the amount of deleted files that go into the recycle bin before being permanently deleted. So if, you're, if you don't know, on a computer, when you, uh, when you click delete on a file, it doesn't actually get rid of it. It puts it in the recycle bin so you can restore it if you really need it later. So if you accidentally delete something, it's like a safety measure. But this does take up some space. So you have two options here. You can either basically get rid of the recycle bin completely, which is if you click this button, I don't necessarily recommend that in case you delete something important. But if you always have backups, you're confident in yourself, or if you really need the space, uh, you can check that. Uh, both ways I would keep this. This basically, when you click accidentally hit the delete key or something, it'll pop up, are you sure you, you want that? But what you can do is change the maximum size here. It's in megabytes, not gigabytes, and there's roughly a, a thousand megabytes a gigabyte, not exactly, but roughly. So this, this means that you have 10 gigabytes available in the recycle bin. Yours might be a different number. But let's say I only need 5, I think. So I just change this to 5,000 megabytes. And you click Apply. It's all good. If you try and delete something bigger than 5 gigabytes, if that's your max, it won't fit in the recycle bin, and it'll have to be deleted permanently. Just keep that in mind. So this is the last step uh, without removing any files or programs or installing cleaners and everything. Uh, and it's kind of complicated, but I'll walk you through it nice and easy. I'll give you some tips. So you're going to want to go to the control panel again. Now this time go to system and security. Go to system. And then here you'll see system protection. Okay. So what this is, is this is system restore points. Now what a restore point is, is it's basically a time where the computer can go back to if it gets screwed up without having to get rid of everything. Um, but these take up space because they're storing data. So what you can do is if you click on configure, you'll have this little max usage thing down here. 
and for me it, it's set to a percentage of your hard drive so five percent for really big hard drives is quite a bit but if you have a smaller hard drive you don't necessarily want to go all the way down because that might not be enough but if you can keep it around five to ten gigabytes that's good so even two percent is way too much like one percent is good for me yours will probably be more so just make sure this number is around five to ten gigabytes and you should be good so if you apply that okay you're all good okay so the first the uh, first main one I like to use that is a program that you have to install is called C cleaner uh, and I'll put links in the description for for this website here uh, it might look a little different if you're viewing this year in the future or something but it, it should have some kind of free download option so you're gonna want to click on that download and save it to your desktop or wherever it doesn't matter uh, and it'll look like this uh, so when you open this click yes uh, this this one's really easy to install. You just select the language. I speak English. So I'll pick English, and then you choose if you want a desktop shortcut and a start menu shortcut, which is just in the, this all programs thing here. Those are start menu shortcuts. Um, I don't want uh, I don't want either. It's fine. And then you can leave all the rest. That's all fine. So if you install it, it'll go really quick, nice and easy, and then it gives you the option to run right there. All right, now I'm gonna try and go through all these checkboxes nice and quick. So here you have temporary internet files. That's fine to get rid of. History, that's your internet history. Cookies, that's uh, little parts of websites that are downloaded that makes it run faster. It's good to get rid of. Recently typed URLs, that's just a little, when you start typing in Google, when it pops up with Google. So that's your choice if you wanna get rid of that or not. Index.dat files, you can get rid of that. Last download location. Uh, that's just how it, if you download something it remembers where you downloaded last uh, you can choose to keep that on or off autocomplete form history that's like uh, if you're typing in your name and it'll pop up it'll say did you mean your full name again that's your choice takes up space though save passwords you probably want to leave those uh, you probably don't want to get rid of those unless you have them all memorized that no, it's up to you windows explorer recent documents you get rid of that run and start menu you can get rid of that other Explorer MRUs, that's fine to get rid of. Thumbnail cache, again, fine to get rid of. Taskbar jump list, jump lists, fine to get rid of. Network passwords, you're probably going to want to keep that, otherwise your Wi-Fi password you have to type in, again. Uh, empty recycle bin, well, apparently have some new stuff in there. Temporary files, that's good to get rid of. Clipboard, that's if you copied anything. It takes a bit of space when you do that. Uh, that'll clean it, basically. Memory dumps, you can get rid of that. Uh, check disk file fragments. Those are good to get rid of. They slow down your computer. Windows log files. That's fine to get rid of. Windows error reporting. Uh, that that's leave that unchecked for now. DNS cache. Un leave that unchecked. That's to do with Wi-Fi. Font cache. Leave that unchecked. Uh, you don't want to lose fonts. Start menu shortcuts and desktop shortcuts. You can check these. All it's going to do is get rid of broken shortcuts. So if you have a shortcut to nothing, so that, that's fine to keep. It won't get rid of you know these those are important now advanced don't touch any of this you don't need to it it's, doesn't take up a whole lot of space it's not too important and it's advanced uh, unless you know you want to get rid of it application this is where you save a lot of space too so if you use Firefox instead of Internet Explorer same idea you have the same things here um, same thing with Google Chrome you can get rid of whatever you want there mm, looks fine to make some session because I have some open windows right now and I'm going to keep that open. Uh, applications, you can check all these. This is fine. You can check all these. All these applications are fine to check because it's just temporary files for them. It's not getting rid of the program, don't worry. Uh, so, so now you click Analyze. It'll take a little bit here. I'll come back when it's done. And then you'll see how much space you save. Okay, that's all done. Uh, it took a couple minutes, but wasn't too bad. And that's about four gigabytes so you'll probably have more if you've never done it before but you can go ahead and click run cleaner now go ahead and click yes it'll again take a couple minutes again I'm just gonna and there you go cleaning complete okay so now we're gonna have to start if you're still low on space we're gonna have to start getting rid of some files the easiest way I found to discover what files are taking up your hard drive space is this program called Winderstat. Kind of a weird name, but here's the site you get it from, right here. Uh, and then you'll want to click one of these three links here. 
Uh, if the first one doesn't work, try the second one. If that doesn't work, try the bottom one. And this will still all be in the description. So let's run this installer. It, it, this isn't too big of a, a program, so it, it won't take up much space, which is good if you're trying to get rid of space. Just keep recommended only, that's fine. That's all fine. And there you go. Uh, complete it. So we click next and launch. Awesome. Now you're going to want to. If you have more than one hard drive, like if you have an external hard drive or something, you could choose which one to pick. Uh, I'm just going to keep it to all and then let it go. Now this can take a while. This can take 10 minutes. This can take longer depending on it. So you can see as long as this little Pac-Man looking thing is going back and forth, it's not finished. So just, just wait it out. Okay, so once it's done scanning, you'll get something similar looking to this. It looks kind of intimidating and a little hectic at first, but it, it makes a lot of sense, makes it really easy. So you can see here, all these different sort of bars is all the folders. So, And you can see when I click it, it highlights it in white. So all this junk here, all these boxes, are representations of files in my program files, which is programs. Here, this is everything in users. And here, it's everything in, where was it? Over down here, it's everything in Windows. Here, it's just free-floating files sort of thing. So you kind of get how this is going, right? There's my recycle bin. You can't, it's, there's nothing there, basically. And you can kind of, you can see the breakdowns, the percentage breakdowns, and then the actual size here. So you can see the majority of my stuff is programs, which usually it is. But I also have a lot of things in users. There's a good reason for that. And you can see 99.8% of it is, is in my Dexter folder, which is, that's me. Uh, a lot of it's on my desktop because my I have a, a I made a folder when I first got my computer and I kind of put everything in there. So we'll check that out. And this is it here, my master folder. And you can see I have 45 gigabytes in this games folder. I don't want to get rid of those. Those are games I play. I want to keep those. I also have 25 gigabytes of movies. So let's see there. Uh, well, some of these I want to keep obviously because I'm going to want to watch. But here in this gameplay folder here, this is old recorded footage that I don't need anymore. So I can select this one, and I can delete it. And there you go, it's gone. That saves space right away. Right here, again, I can click this, I can delete it. All of them, I can delete the whole thing. So this is, this is a good way to see what's taking up space. Now, what happened to you, or what might happen to you, is what happened to me one of the first times I did this. It turns out I had a huge box right here of just one file. It was an uncompressed video file or something. It took up a ton of space, and once I deleted it, I had so much hard drive space left. It was great. So you kind of have two ways to go at it. You can either go through, look at the, the biggest boxes here, which are all going to be games for me. You see there. Uh, oh, here, perfect example. You see how they're all the same color? That means they're similar files. They're in the same folder. These are all the podcasts I have. Um, so you can see there's five gigs of podcasts, but you can see that each file is really small because they're just audio files but in total it makes a pretty big one so this is a nice visual representation of all the files you can see which ones are taking up space and you can see which ones you might want to get rid of there you go yeah all, all these up here it, these were yeah these were program files here so i probably don't want to touch these too much or, at all sorry i don't want to touch these at all but down here and over there those are all well, windows you, you don't want to touch anything in the windows folder and nothing in the program files folder those are kind of off limits All right. and after all that if you still don't have enough space uh, you're gonna have to uninstall some programs so here you're gonna wanna go to your little search box here and start typing in uninstall this is the easiest way to get to it and you see uninstall program right there now here is a list of all the programs or most of them you have installed on your computer I have a lot, obviously, as you can see. And you can see, this is not the best way, but you can see their size here. Not all of them show it because of the way they are. But if there's some programs you don't need, you don't want, you it accidentally installed and everything, this is the this is the way to save space. Uh, so let's see if I can find an example of a big one that I might not want anymore. Actually, let's sort by size then so we can see all those. All right, great. Uh, okay, here, perfect. Here's a game. If I don't want this game anymore, I save 10 gigabytes. Huge amount of, huge amount, right? Uh, 
if I don't need iTunes anymore, which I actually don't. I can uninstall it. Uh, I actually I still need it. I lied. I use it for podcasts. I don't use it for the music. I could have got rid of that. And this is gonna be way different on yours, obviously, because it's your programs. So if you want to uninstall it, uh, I'll, I'll kind of go through it. If you want to install it here, I'll find something there. If you want to uninstall something. It, it, sometimes they look a bit different, but it's usually a Windows uninstaller thing it just uses. And it'll let you remove it. It might ask to confirm, like, here, yes, let it go. And then, there you go, it's uninstalled. And you don't have it anymore, you saved space, and you're all good. Alright, congratulations, you made it through the whole video. Uh, yeah, so that is all the little tips I have for now. Um, I hope I hope I help someone out there uh, save some hard drive space, and hopefully they have enough now. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, you want to make me a video, you want me to make a video about something else, just leave it in the comment section below, and I'll try to respond to everything. All right.